Well, hey guys, welcome back to Stenson Farms. Hey, today is Monday, August the 8th. I hadn't made a video in a while. I uh, hadn't really been doing anything uh, farm related other than just watching a crop grow. Uh, we've been getting a lot of rain lately. I know we went uh, most of the early part of summer with no rain several weeks, and now we've been getting rain for about three weeks, just pretty steady. Uh, rained almost every day last week and still rain the forecast now. But it's not been so much that it's uh, hurt anything. We're actually, uh, we're actually getting some good moisture on the crop. And uh, there is some flooding in some areas. I know that y'all have probably heard of the flooding over around eastern Kentucky. And there's a little bit around us and some of the river bottoms and stuff. But uh, uh, which all my grounds ridge ground, so I don't have to worry about it actually flooding. But it uh, it's got enough water on it, uh, and it's getting plenty. But it's but it's good that we are getting it. But I, like I said, I haven't been really doing anything. Got to get back to cutting hay as soon as the rain ends. And uh, I'm just doing odd and end jobs. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Uh, been working a lot. But uh, I wanted to give you all a little shot of the crop here. Uh, while we had an opportunity, I was up here today. Uh, a boy picked up a few bales of hay. So I thought I'd uh, walk out here and look at it and show you all what it looks like. So here's the beans, uh, one field of them anyway. And I'm, this is, you know, as far as the whole field, these are my best beans, but I'm really, I'm really pleased with these. They, uh, they've come on good. I don't know how well you can see these stems, but they've been blooming for a little while. They're already putting on some uh, pods right here, uh, still blooming. Uh, there was the way that these, uh, with the uh, spacing and everything on these, and they have room to grow, I'm hoping they'll really put on a lot of pods. But uh, pretty healthy looking beans. They got a little late start and kind of was a little bit tough on them getting going because of the dry weather, but they've done really well. And I know this don't really necessarily mean anything. But it's interesting to me uh, to see how tall they actually are. If you can see that, they're around 43 inches. These right here are. And it's pretty much that way over this whole field. We'll walk on up here to the end. Uh, I'm not in my four-wheel drive today, so there's a wet spot I can't get through. So I'm going to have to walk. And uh, we'll go back here, look at the big field of beans, and then we'll uh, check out this corn up here a little bit. Now here's a look at the beans in the big field. Like I said, all over, they're not as good as the first field we looked at. But in areas they are, these right here are pretty good. And... Uh, you can see when we get right up here, we've got a little bit of predator damage. The deers really like to eat them. But uh, this is a spot here that kind of stays wet when it's raining and you can see the beans didn't do hardly as good, but they're still good. And I don't know if you can see out there or not, but I've got some water hemp growing and a couple of spots, it's patchy, it's not very big spots in the field. But uh, when we sprayed the residual that we sprayed with, when we put it down, it didn't get any rain for like three weeks. And I think that it really dissipated really before it got any moisture. It needed a little moisture to activate it. So we've had some, uh, which I got a real good kill and everything that was here when we sprayed it. but. We've had a little bit come up here and there in a few little spots. But all in all, uh, it's fairly clean. That won't be too bad. <clears throat> and here is an example of what happens uh, when you spray drifts. I'd planted the beans. They weren't up yet. Uh, but I sprayed the corn. And I was really careful not to get into the beans, but I sprayed with atrazine, was the residual that I used, and 
a little bit of it drifted over here as you can tell and there's no beans so you don't want to spray your beans with astrazine let's venture off in this corn a little bit see what it looks like it's looking really good I'm really pleased with it all over you got you got some rain just in time uh, right before it started silking and tossing and uh, it's come on and done good this is an ear I get an example of what a ears look like on it pretty healthy looking ear I have checked some of them however and you can see the evidence of the dry weather you can kind of see it just a little bit on this one if you can see this spot right here all the row all the rows didn't fully fill out uh, with a full kernel and a lot of that has to do with the, uh, the dry weather and stuff but all in all I don't think we got hurt but it's uh it's i'm very pleased uh very happy with all of it if somebody could tell me because i've never seen a lot of this look at this uh ear right here and this on it it looks kind of burnt dried up uh you, i'm seeing a lot of that on the shuck uh it may be dry weather it may be a fungus i don't know it doesn't really seem to uh, have affected the ear or the kernels this one's kind of a mild one compared to a lot of them if I can find one I'll show you but it's almost like the ear on some of these tried to outgrow the shuck and I don't know I don't know what caused that I just don't know I'll find one I'll show you here in a sec all right so here's kind of an example of one uh, it did, you know, the kernels on the end look bad, but that's been sticking out of the shuck. It's a good ear of corn, and all in all, it doesn't look too bad. But I just don't know what caused that. I don't know if that's the dry weather. And most of these that look like this, you see them on the uh, edge of the field where, where the sun hits it. You get out in the middle, and it's more like what I showed you a while ago. It don't really uh, appear that way. Well, guys, I know that's all I've done here lately is put out videos uh, of checking on the crop, but that's all that's really been going on. Uh, we cut the hay, first cut, and it was dry. Uh, it didn't grow, wasn't doing anything, just kind of standing there. Uh, and when it started raining and the grass started growing, it's been raining ever since. It's ready to cut again, but uh, like I said, it ain't, it ain't dried up and give me an opportunity to cut it. But... Uh, all in all, I'm really happy. Uh, feel really blessed. I know this year has been a tough year for a lot of people. I know there's the man I come by his bottoms over here uh, on the way up here, and uh, his corn was up about maybe 18 inches tall, and it got flooded out. He went in and replanted about a third of it in that field, and uh, it was growing and looking good, uh, and it flooded out again. So what he had, what he planted the first time, what's left, that's all he's got. He completely got everything he replanted. So it's been a crazy year, and I know it's been a tough year on a lot of people. But anyway, uh, guys, thank you for hanging around. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate the, uh, the continued support, and uh, I'm really thankful that you're there and you're interested in what we're doing. So guys, until I'm doing something better, hopefully hay or something, uh, we'll see you next time.